Welcome back guys. Uh, today I thought I'd take a look at the new Sparky Linux that was just released uh, over the weekend I believe. This is the Sparky Linux 44 <clears throat> and Sparky always does a great job with their Debian distributions. Um, this is the XFCE version. Uh, the reason I downloaded it is because they now have a couple of new desktops. Now they have the um, added three new desktops Lumina, Trinity, and PECWM. Now, I did take a look at Lumina and Trinity. I'll show you those in a couple minutes. Um, this is based on Debian testing. If you take a look at Task Manager, it tells me uh, with this video running, I'm using 8% of my CPU and about um, 1.4 um, giga gigabytes of RAM. Uh, if you take a look at the other version of the task manager it's showing 8% CPU and memory at 4% and if you take a look at HTOP it tells me I'm running just under a gig of memory um, I don't have any swap on this machine as it's got 32 gigs of RAM so um, resource usage uh, with GUVC view and Kazam is understandable. So, um, and as I said, Sparky Linux always does a great job with their Debian distributions. Now, Sparky, as you know, has lots of features, um, lots of software, lots of utilities. Apt us. Uh, basically is a is a system maintenance utility so you can do everything from upgrade uh, the system refresh your package lists uh, install multimedia codecs which I already have you can also install a Licorix kernel it's a low latency kernel if you're doing a lot of audio uh, processing now here's where you can download and install various desktops and as you can see you can uh, you can run basically any desktop that Linux has available uh, very easily just by clicking so you've got cinnamon budgie uh, enlightenment fluxbox KDE JWM uh, let's see you've got Lumina one of the new ones I'll show you that in a minute Mate LXQT LXDE Openbox Pantheon PEC WM uh, Trinity I'll show you in a moment window maker and XFCE which is what I'm running currently you can uh, remove non free packages this has a uh, apt US has a lot of utilities that can help you maintain and keep your system running uh, optimally and clean up removing old Debian packages so it's a very very nicely designed system now that is apt us or apt us uh, if we take a look at apt us extra now you get down to specific uh, applications so you can see I've installed the codex uh, DDM which is to help install third-party hardware drivers I do have NVIDIA and um, Broadcom installed without any problems Google Chrome is installed so you can just select whatever program you want if you want Vivaldi browser you click on it click OK it will go through and do the install as easy as that so Sparky is a very nice Debian distribution if you are into Debian um, Sparky is absolutely super uh, along with MX15 uh, which I really enjoy now let's get to the desktops uh, I did install both of the desktops I have them both installed I'm gonna log out log back in and I'll show you one of the new desktops you can take a look at it the install went very smoothly the Trinity desktop has a nice wizard when you first boot into it there's a wizard which helps you configure the the appearance of the Trinity desktop 
you can make it look like Windows, you can make it look like a Mac, uh, all kinds of various options. I'll see if I can bring that up for you when I log back in. So Vivaldi has been installed successfully and it brings you back to the main menu. Very, very easy to run. Okay, so let's take a look. I'm going to log back out, guys, and I'll be I'll log back in and show you one of the new desktops. Don't go away. Okay, guys, welcome back. Now this is the Trinity desktop environment. Um, it's easily loaded from within the main installation of Sparky. Uh, you enter the Trinity desktop environment when you log out. Up in the top right hand corner, you'll see a little wrench. Uh, that's where you select your desktop environment and if you install a few that's where you'll select when you log in now if you've got auto login set up what you'll do is log out it'll bring up your login screen then you can pick the desktop environment that you want and you can switch between the two now I switch between XFCE and Trinity and I'm not having any issues at all. This is what I selected when I uh, when you first boot into Trinity it will it will bring up a wizard and let you pick your desktop theme. Uh, there's various looks. This one here was a kind of a Windows like theme and that's the one that I picked but if you go into the the uh, Trinity Control Center then you can take a look at all of the other themes for example the one I have is called plastic but you can look at high contrast dark high contrast dark big high contrast light light big KDE classic and ceramic plastic platinum Redmond this is has kind of a Windows Windows XP look I would say um, sunshine yellow on blue and yellow on blue big but if I go to the Redmond for example and I click apply we can take a look at that and as you can see it changed to a kind of Windows XP type look now you can there's my uh, KDE. Uh, I'm sorry, Kazam is right there. It's like a little uh, desktop icon. And I can arrange the icons. So it's got a whole different look to it, as you can see. And that's pretty much within your control. Now I'm going to go back to the plastic and now we're back to the original configuration. And so that is the Trinity desktop environment. Um, when you select it, you can play around with it, find the look that you like. I'm going to switch over to the other desktop environment. I will log back in and we'll go over that. Uh, don't go away, guys. Be right back. Okay, guys, this is the Lumina desktop environment. A very simple environment. Uh, as you can see, it's got your running programs in the top panel, Kazam, GUVC View. Uh, there's your menu. You can browse files, browse applications. There's your preferences can configure your desktop, two workspaces, volume control, and a very simplistic desktop. Um, you've got a system tray, you can see Kazam, volume, Bluetooth, I'm sorry, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, volume, and uh, clipboard. Now there's the time and a calendar. So this is extremely simplistic. Um, I noticed that when you open the windows they do not move with the mouse left mouse click and drag they don't move uh, as normal 
I believe there is a way to do it, but I'm not. This is the first time I've taken a look at Lumina Desktop. So it is very, very simple. I'm not sure if it's something that you would enjoy. It's not something that I would enjoy working with on a daily basis, but it is another of the desktops that are available to, uh, to you um, with the Sparky Linux install. So uh, guys, I'm going to jump back into the Sparky install just to finish up the video. Be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back uh, into the Sparky Linux desktop, the XFCE. Um, I will just say that I was able to get uh, Steam running, uh, Battle.net is running. As you can see, Hearthstone is running through Play on Linux. No issues at all. Everything operates very, very smoothly. Again, it's based on Debian testing. Once again, Sparky has done a great job with their Debian distribution. So guys, that is it. Uh, I thought you might like to take a look at the uh, two new desktops available in Sparky. Uh, so thanks for stopping by the channel. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you soon. Take care.